but I'm a loser because I can get I can go on Google and type in big boob and get two billion results for free. Creepy old women are the creepy old men of the women gender. <laughs> what every woman who writes you doesn't cower? No. Huh. You're not doing it right? No, they tend to just get really mad. Piece of shit, you don't know the fucking King of Queens theme. Heaven song? forbid, oh I don't know God. it off the top of my head. Over with Let's so we can this shit possibly go get with. some fucking beers. Possibly? I was promised beers. That's the only reason I'm here. You know that. Talk to Cole. He's the one who hasn't texted back I yet. I don't talk to him anymore, and you shouldn't either. We go find him. We We're recording. F- Episode 127. Oh, 127, everybody. Hey. Hi, everyone. The feng shui's off today. Mm-hmm. It feels weird down here. Feng shui. What a fun word. What right? a fun w- What a fun word. Okay, you fucking <laughs> ruined it before I could even <laughs> finish my sentence. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Well, folks, sorry to, that you're here yeah, with sorry us. Sorry that you got to be here for almost 130 fucking episodes of this shit show riding yeah. on down the road. And you have to listen to this entire At this point, episode. You cannot. Yeah, give you can't. Up, you no can't give up. Happens. If you give up, we're going to. The second you pause it, we're going to be in front of you being like, oh, why'd you turn it off? Yeah. Is there like some reason you can't keep listening to this right and now? The sad part is one of you just paused it. Yeah. Just that's say, the worst well, part. Just no, like, oh, they're not here. Those fucking and idiots. And though we couldn't make it to you in person, we will be watching you sleep and we'll fucking. Yeah, although we could make it to you in person you right now. a pillow in the face like that one part in in glorious bastards i was gonna say is that a hostage situation (laughs) no why won't you learn i'm trying to stabbed in the face to a pillow is getting stabbed in the face to a pillow there's no other term for that (laughs) i feel like there's there's gotta be shorthand yeah there's gotta be like there's gotta be like a fine french word for it that Uh, the pillow stabbed (laughs) face Ah, I see your years of French in high school have paid Thank off. Thank you. It was foreign language, and we learned one every two weeks. Shocker, none of it stuck. Uh, amazing. Also, middle school, when I was probably smarter, maybe? No. Thirstier? Thirstier, but not smarter. Horny. <laughs> so much hornier. Horny. Thirstier in every aspect that the word thirsty means, I feel like yeah. you were. Thirsty for... I wish I could... Horny. I wish I could be thirsty as thirsty horny. and horny as I was as a teenager. Well, you feel like the world could put it up with us if we were as horny as we were when no, like 15 years ago. Shouldn't. No, they should No, they should 15 shouldn't. years ago when I was 23? Yeah, 15 years ago when I was 11. <laughs> you shouldn't have been horny at 11. Yeah, I was. That was horny when you were 11. about to switch the light, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? I was. One day you just wake up and you are horny. Yeah, one day forever. Yeah, one day you just wake up about now one day you and just wake like, up yeah. and you figure out how to tug your dick and it's just over from there. Like there's your yeah. life before that and there's your life after that. Yeah. It's like every fucking like documentary about someone where someone bad like a serial killer where they're like as a kid he was fine and then there's like pictures of him like playing football and, and then he figures like, out how to jack and then off and something happened and he started to spend more time alone, alone. in his room with the music turned up loud and, and the curtains every time closed. I knocked on the door hold on and... occupied he always had the curtains drawn and then he boarded up the curtains and then he <laughs> painted his walls black and then he started worshiping Marilyn Manson yep. And the whole time was just the cover to jerk off in your room. I had a very weird Christian friend when I was like a teenager. And jerked very, off to Marilyn Manson. I wish. Weird <laughs> body that we keep bringing up. I wish. Uh, but she told me that I shouldn't listen to Marilyn Manson because uh, he kills a cat before every concert. And then he uses the cat as a offer to the devil. And mm-hmm. then he offers the souls of everyone who comes to his concerts to the devil so that the devil will show up there and kill everybody and send them all to hell. Wow. And I That's said, true, and too. I said, it's the craziest I fucking part. wish. <laughs> yeah. Does the devil need a lot of cat souls? The, uh, well, apparently you, he would kill the one cat to invoke Satan, mm-hmm. but then offer the souls of everyone at his concerts to Satan. So his fan base was just never ending. Like that's how big he was that he could sacrifice everybody at yeah. this concert. Yeah, essentially. Like his fucking four thousand cap fan. And even as a ch- and even as like a young person, I was like, that makes absolutely no sense because if tons of people were dying at Marilyn Manson concerts, it would be all over the fucking news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like when kids say stupid shit, like stupid little kids mm-hmm. say things, and you're just like, and they're so sure sense. about it, like they're just acting like it's the only one and yeah. only truth. And if and you I'm don't like, where t- did you hear this from? Because I want to talk to them. Because I want to know. Because they are lying to they're you. They're workshopping some great a shit right they're, here. They're working some, some great crazy a bull honky. Sh- if gr- I can, some say great that. a dick malaki. If I can hey, say so myself. There it is, folks. Episode one twenty seven. It's not done yet. It just started. For the love of all God, I'm happy about it. Go to www.thedapperdads.com. 
and do what you do there. There's a lot There's of so things. many things you can We're click on. We're not even going to tell you. Just go look at it. We've been telling you it. so many weeks in I a know. row. The website is so old. And at if this you're point. hopping in on 127, what in the no. actual fuck are you You've doing? You've already hopped out. You're like Marilyn Manson. I don't think so. Marilyn Manson worship, not in my good Christian suburbs, and immediately remove yourself. You're like, I thought this was a podcast on how to be a better dad, which yeah. is something that yes. comes up a lot. You would think so, but. It's not. No. Podcast at gmail.com if you want to email us hate mail. That is the only place you can hate us. If you send it, it anywhere else, we and burn boy. it. <laughs> yes, we print it and burn it. And God, if you sent us a letter, I'm going to stab you, you in the face <laughs> through a bill. <laughs> bill You're going to be held hostage. Yep. No one knows what that means to us. They know what it means. It's very it. specific. Yeah, it's not what you think. You would probably get more of it if you went to www.patreon.com slash dapper dads. Ah. Pay the money, do the thing. Ah. Ah, and then you, the can, other jokes. you can get the other jokes because believe in, it or sneaking not sneaking into the show because easter eggs i would say because you know I'm, I'm gonna let this i'm gonna let my guard down for a little bit here <laughs> oh fuck. i'm gonna let the character <laughs> down time he for did just this. a second so many uh, people were so many people were let down and traumatized well they're always let down uh that they had to build a new orphanage from what i heard yeah because you uh, burned that one down <laughs> because i made so many orphans uh if you listen to the Patreon, uh-huh. you'll get the full scope of everything because uh-huh. we sometimes you hear shit on here and you're like, what the fuck are they talking yeah, about? What does that mean? What does that mean? If you listen to the Patreon, you're basically getting all the extra goodies right. that help tie into the rest of the show. So if you feel like but your listening is still, experience is incomplete, <laughs> there still always is at least, I'd say, 10 yeah. percent that you no one can have. Yeah, there's at least there's a, uh, there's 50 percent misinformation fired across the show constantly, oh, yeah. but at least 10 percent of it is just things that we come up with on the fly. Yeah. So don't trust anything that comes out of our mouth regardless. We if that whole statement if, was very confusing if, to me. <laughs> if we're your news source, get fucked. We don't even talk about news unless the news is our dicks. And one day it will be. And Someday. That's going to that's gonna be scary. Um, I got to read a fucking... BuzzFeed article about my dick. Yeah, t- ten grossest pictures of, of Slim's, Slim's dick. dick. I'm like BuzzFeed is, and you're really like, I only took ten pictures. Likes. Of my dick. <laughs> BuzzFeed's really grabbing for content. Bunch of liberals. For cocks. Um, call us four zero two. We do have a Dapper. phone number. That's four zero two seven three two seven seven three seven. Yeah, when I said it, it honestly shocked me. You can just call us. We never answer. Call us. Leave us voicemail. Or I or I, or one of us will nope. answer, and it'll be horrifying for yeah, you. Don't ever let that happen again. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads, where Jamie Fox has been endorsing us. Believe it or not. Yeah. Weird. Um, uh. Weird pickup. Yeah. Blame it on the alcohol. Uh, 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 no, uh, see, alcohol? I was gonna. No. Yeah, we didn't need to do that. Well, it already happened. So what do you want to do? Don't about follow it? us anymore. Go yeah. to uh, <laughs> Dapper Dads podcast on up. Instagram. At Dapper Dad's Podcast on Instagram. You got the this. app. You can do on this. Your, yeah, on your keep phone. Going. Yeah. Your mobile device. Okay. The picture app. Keep talking. With the thoughts. Use the, uh, yeah. And. Where, where do I find these? It, right? Where do I find these thoughts at? At Lindsay. <laughs> I don't remember her last name. That girl with that fucking fat ass. <laughs> that Would you absolutely still need to send me that ass. you just won't send me? I thought I sent it to you. She has two no. Instagrams. She has an OnlyFans. I'm I will not. So close. I will not. I will. I shan't do it out of principle. You're a fucking loser. But I'm a loser because I can get. I can go on Google and type in big boob and get two billion results for free and supposed yeah, to be paying the for it. Perf. The girl that you've been lusting after. You're stupid. You're full of shit. I'm not full of shit. You're I will never pay for an OnlyFans ever. And you can cut this sound clip when I finally pay for one and show it to me because <laughs> oh, I've been this like, close. I know. To That's why I I was on you, the page. I know. And we're it was both like there. Oh, it was only three dollars. She was offering three dollars. She was buy a three, three right dollar now. lifetime subscription. And I was like, ah, oh, but then they're going to have my card information. What if they start pulling shit? What do you mean? Because they were, because, because first of all, I'm not going to have my card information. I'm not going to wake up one day to a news story that says <laughs> millions of OnlyFans <laughs> accounts breached or whatever. And, like, and suddenly I'm missing a thousand dollars out of my account because some Instagram model. You don't have a thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm a thousand dollars overdrafted. Let's say that. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I've been overdrafted to a thousand dollars because somebody likes to buy themselves shoes and they got access to my information through my OnlyFans account because I paid three dollars to see Ariana Adams asshole get spread apart on OnlyFans.com. I for some reason thought you were talking about me. I was like, I don't think I did any of I'm this. I'm talking about me. Yeah. Sitting I thought you meant about get... buying the shoes. Sitting there watching... Remember I tried to buy those Gucci flip-flops yeah, and I they took my credit card Yeah, on OnlyFans when they took your information. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm just like trying to watch... subscription of Gucci $3 to get a girl, watch your girl get faced fuck 
absolutely silly. I don't know why you wouldn't pay that. Because it's out of principle. I refuse it. Because I can go to Pornhub and look at all the very but fine things. But you know. But then I'm going to jack off to it and I'm going to be like, why the fuck am I paying for this? $3. I'll three pay $3 three dollars for a jerk off. I can get it for free. Not the same kind. I can go to Taco you Bell and I can get three right double now. stack tacos for $3. Don't even make this an allergy. I'm making it a, an allergy. <laughs> yeah, don't make me an allergy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, allergic to Taco Bell tacos. Which is crazy because they're I so good. Eat them. You're full of shit. I'm not full of shit. I'm just saying I have better things I can do with my money when I can jet. $3? You literally can't. I can buy three tacos for $3 and then I can spank it for free. No. I can just look up her content on Pornhub for free. I don't need the only. Yeah, fans. if that's available, then I feel you. I'm talking about girls that are only on OnlyFans and, and you that. have exhausted so much of your time saying OnlyFans I, you, rip you, with her username in Google okay, and finding yeah. these websites I'm where not, people rip the content. You're right. But you're not a member and you're like, well, I don't want to sign up for this. How am I supposed to know where this goes? We're both doing the same <laughs> thing. Both, I hate pay this. the money. I, just, just I won't be do it. The money. Go to Patreon.com, spend five bucks. As soon as we get a new subscriber, give me the five bucks and i'll pay the three bucks that's for the not lifetime how the business works. that's how I've the business been using works all of god only damn fans. it spare me three dollars man i just need three bucks for this only fans i'm saying as i think we've talked about it before i'm obsessed with the only fans idea because there's girls i followed on the internet for mm. being attractive for a long amount of time and now they're starting only fans mm. do you know what that feeling is like yes i know what that to feeling be like, is like oh my god this girl who's only been a little bit of a thought on the internet is now like fingering her butthole or something on the internet for 19.99 a month which is i no, do one I month won't do it fuck off 20 You're bucks a month shit. One month. I'm not getting a fucking lifetime subscription, <laughs> so it's fucking four hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, guess so, how yeah, long you, my life Jesus. is. Jesus, <laughs> that's pretty long. Four hundred and sixty dollars. Don't do the math right now. That's twenty bucks a month. <laughs> I was gonna say you're dying. In like, <laughs> it's a, you're dying like next year, bro. I don't think so. You're you're dying like two or three years, and nobody fucking tell me when I die. I'm so sick of it. (laughs) Everybody keeps telling me you're gonna die in like three and a half years, bro. Okay, that's pretty. Cut long. this sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> when you're your jerking funeral. off to fucking OnlyFans. Yeah. Okay. Funeral. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. You can die when I pay for an OnlyFans. How's that? I'll kill myself right now to watch you, you go jerk right off ahead. To OnlyFans. God, are you just you know what I mean? We can I all I never said I don't stuff. know what you mean. But I don't I'm just believe. Saying, out of principle, I don't want. What if I you wouldn't. had a bunch of money? If I had a bunch of money, yeah. What if you had slightly more money than you typically have? <laughs> How much more is slightly more? <laughs> enough. How much is enough to justify $20 all the more. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you have. That's what's also insane to me. Won't do it. Is that the ones I'm looking at are like 20. One I was looking at was like 40. And I was thinking about it. There's no way. And you got a three. You don't one? jerk off enough to justify a $40 OnlyFans. But I appreciate Do you think you would? Yeah. I'm going to jerk off once and regret it. I think we all know the outcome. Yeah, that's what... Thank you. I just wanted you to admit that to me. I cherish... This is our friendship. We just want each other to admit the other thing. And we get so mad. Yeah, why can't we just talk about our feelings ever? I, in my old age, have found... Like, video... I prefer to spend time finding a better video. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is the best... For me, it's girls I have worked on the internet. I'm not talking about like your run in the mill OnlyFans, because I think there should be a preview. That's there what should. I think is a big you, problem. Okay, I can 100 agree here? with this. Boob right. picks? Yeah, I don't need boob. I, I don't, don't need boobs. No, any money for boob pics. Nah, you got to pay me to look at boob pics. Give bitch. me, I'm popping give on me, the internet. give me a teaser on Twitter. Like, show me what you're right. offering on your OnlyFans like on, on Twitter. On the Dapper Dad's <laughs> time Twitter, we post follow that one time. girl. Uh huh. And she has OnlyFans now, mm. and she's shown a lot on Twitter. So that I'm like, that's probably worth the money because she's probably she's got to be showing. I would say more. if she's showing this much and on Twitter, what is she showing on the OnlyFans? So yeah, like that, and I'll pay for it. Like I'm with that, and you're supporting someone. You know what I mean? There's part of it. Like, but I've been I want jerking off the porn. For, I want them to shine too. But I've been jerking off the porn for free for years. That's what I mean. I don't mind in my old age finding a better video or a more specific uh, thing. I I'm guess into. you and I just differ on this. That's fine. You'll you'll grow up one day. Someday. And pay fucking three dollars <laughs> for it. All I'm gonna go pay. buy it and never even watch it. That's oh, how little oh, money three dollars is. That hurts me. 
No, but yeah, support your OnlyFans, or if you're listening and you've picked up on what we're talking about, you buy the OnlyFans and screenshot and send it to us. Yeah, send us the. If you can, we deserve it. Yeah, you know what? If you if you if you truly loved us, you would the listener would subscribe to all these OnlyFans. Right. Rip the content. Send it to us in a Google Drive. Yeah. I found yeah. a Google Drive of OnlyFans content recently. Mm, go on. Couldn't watch it from my phone. Mega Drive, not Google. Mm. That mega.nz. Or I would say that shit will, that's, that shit's messy. You got to do that on like a laptop with like a firewall and everything. <laughs> you got to do that on your phone because you can't get a virus on your phone. You can absolutely get a virus on, on an your iPhone. Phone. Yeah, you can totally get a virus how, on an iPhone. How? How many people do you know that that's happened to? Androids, I mean, yeah. I mean, personally, I don't know anyone. See, because it's, it's like fake. It's fake. Phony fake bullshit boy <laughs> stupid you're I'm not just like, like you me at all. you're just like no. me you are just like me i yeah going on he's shit just on like your computer me sometimes those ads which ones <laughs> all of them. i would say Let's the one telling me my dick isn't like long that. enough or the one where they tell me there's <laughs> horny milfs in my area mine always says your dick looks perfect <laughs> there's horny milfs in your area yeah mine always says your small dick will please these horny milfs in your area that have been getting pounded by big <laughs> cocks they want a small cock and i'm like wait what <laughs> i'm intrigued but i'm not i'm intrigued happy. yeah i don't like that this is targeting me it's like people targeting me and they're like you need weight loss pills and i'm like i could use some but i definitely don't like pills. you telling me <laughs> You want a stranger to hand you bills in a parking lot again? Mm, again, maybe, yeah. depending on what they are. There was that time that guy came up and sold me the blunt in the Steak and Shake drive through We know. You you tell that story. And that's like your... It's a fun story. That's like your 9-11, but <laughs> like in a good way. Weird. Like if you were the terrorist organization. Okay. Like I'm bragging about it? Sure. Is that what... But I think they all died. The organization? Well, Al-Qaeda didn't die, but the guys on the whoa, plane whoa, died. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not name any names here. <laughs> Um, didn't you have a angry experience last night that you yeah. talked about? Earlier yeah, it was so <laughs> upsetting to me that I I, I had we to... said store parking lot. I pictured what no, it wasn't the store parking lot. I saw a man screaming an LMA song in his car. Was it? Yeah, I read that. Tweet. Yeah, which upset me. Sometimes I'm like, I already know this, and I don't know how. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. I just pulled up into the spot, and like, I heard it in the car next to me. Baby boy, your love got me tripping on you. I'm like, that's a good song. And I look over, and there's a guy just screaming it in the car, like just yelling the word. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, that guy's just like me. Yeah. And then I went in the store. Uh, what store? Meyer. Because mm, that's major. I, I, yeah, I go to major because I don't like going to Walmart late at night because the people. Mm. um yes the fine people at major a store that always seems a little darker than it should light wise yeah, didn't thank want you. that yeah to come i will say that wrong. yeah it seems like yeah dim like i'm yeah, not getting it's, it's all the gray that's in there i feel Maybe. like because everything's yeah, gray. the first time i went i didn't go, i didn't go to one for like a long time i think even after they were out here and then i just stumbled into one one day and i was like it doesn't seem it seems dim bright in enough here. In here. it's like a weird like mix between a, it's like a mix between a walmart and a farming fleet i feel like Maybe. I think it's like a far more <laughs> advanced creature than what we can describe. No, far more, the store. Uh, what? What's a far more? Far more? I've you never know, been to a far more. You remember when Best Buy wasn't where Best Buy is right now? It was no. over. What the fuck oh, is that? Oh, wait, where was it? It's by, by Guitar Center. Yeah. And then on the corner was far more. Like pharmacy more. That's how it was spelled. Oh my god! I feel like I vaguely remember this, this. I don't know. My family, for some reason, was there all the time. Like that was like our go-to. That's store. like their thing. I think we were just at Best Buy a lot, maybe. And you just stopped into the far more on the way home. <laughs> yeah, because it had it had a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But and I think it must have been like cheaper. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should look it up. I always got Sega games and comic books and stuff there. Huh. But yeah, and it looked it. If my me- if memory serves correctly from when I was a small child, which it should, it seemed because of that steel trap, of like yours. it wasn't bright enough and very gray and dull. Yeah. Anyway, major. Regardless, <laughs> I'm in the major. Uh I always go to the store with my headphones because I hate the idea of anybody just like coming up to me and talking to me. That's like my Honk biggest fear boot. about it. And usually, if I'm going, because because <coughs> when did I text you? Like 11:30 at night? Like it was late. I was asleep. It I was woke late. Up to it, and I was like, huh? Hope he's not in jail again. Well, I well I woke up late. Well, I went to the store late, and so I was like, I usually just want my headphones in because that that time of night I'm stoned. I just want to be by myself. I just don't want anyone to talk to me. And my biggest fear is someone I know seeing me at the store and then coming up and having a long conversation with me when I don't want to do it. But even more so is what actually happened to me. And what happened is I went down the rice aisle 
like the pasta Very and the specific. rice. No, it ties into this. Okay. Because I'm looking at the prepackaged rice, mm-hmm. and I'm just, and I'm like, oh, because it's this one brand I get, and there's like five different flavors, and so I pick out a couple. Green bag. No, it comes in like a white container. It's like hmm. two minute rice. Oh, I get those green bags that are like something sides. They're mm-hmm. like a buck. Mm-hmm. I like the noodles more than the rice. <laughs> but say, they're both let's good. get into some real dad shit right now. Let's those talk about noodles. The... You get two. You get two types of noodles. You get the. Uh, oh, you talking about like the Nor Classics or whatever, where it comes in the green bag and you got to. It might be that. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a yellow like brand name in the corner. Is, you would be shocked stuff... by how con- how often I buy things constantly and have no idea what yeah. the brand is. Yeah, no, I just this buy. I know life. the packaging. I yeah, can point out the packaging, but not the, the brand. Package, yeah, I could I literally draw you everything. What the fuck? I can tell you everything it says on the front except for the brand name like if one day it all disappeared and someone was like do you need help find something i'd be like the green bag of the pastas because we're essentially old men trapped in young men's bodies i need those because you get the it's like alfredo parmesan alfredo something yeah it's and then you get dry noodles right like these aren't pre-cooked these are dry no dry okay yeah got to put a little milk and water i know what you're talking about and then you get the garlic shells slaps that's just and you put them together the alfredo and the garlic shells yeah okay not just the regular alfredo i don't think it's parmesan it's something like that garlic alfredo no because that would be too much garlic with the garlic shells Mm. it's something it's got green in it i don't know again wow i don't even know what the (laughs) fuck can you take some pictures and send it to me so i can make this at home next time you're at the store yeah because since you can't even tell me the brand name yeah, man, it's just yeah. yeah it's, make some, you know, make it's got some a and bring it. Picture of the cooked noodles. Yeah, I, it's, I swear to God, it's green, called it's called Nor K N O R R Nor Classics. That I seems swear. like something because it's, it's like away. a red red box, and <laughs> this is insane. Yeah, <laughs> never mind about this. Um, someone send us noodles. Someone, please. Uh, but so I'm looking at the rice, and I grab some, and I'm walking down the aisle, and from behind me, I hear a voice say, "Hey, bro." And normally, if I'm being greeted like that, it's somebody I know. Mm. And I turn around, and I do not know this person at all. This is somebody that works there. And he comes up to me, and he goes, I saw you looking at the rice. And I was like, yes. (laughs) And he goes, I just wanted to recommend this one to you. And he starts giving me this spiel about how much he loves this packaged (laughs) rice. And I And then I take my mask off, (laughs) and it's me. I wish. you know how much I love rice. (laughs) And And I'm standing there, and I am so just fucking out of it like i'm so baked i'm just like "Uh uh-huh yeah oh for sure bro yeah he's like oh it's great it's got the peppers and everything mixed in see what you and i and he's like giving me like this minute and a half speech about it and so i'm i just take it from his hand i'm like cool i'll check it out thanks and i I didn't even check the price i just like threw it in the cart because i was like i'll just fucking buy it if you leave me alone (laughs) like for the love of god and so i start walking away down the aisle and he goes actually man if you're headed that way if you you what you need to do is make a burrito out of this so you make the rice and then we got these veggie wraps down in this and i'm like do you i'm thinking like are you a spokesperson for this rice like (laughs) undercover boss yeah is this like undercover (laughs) boss and you're like really trying to show your other employees what good customer (laughs) service is because like all i can think is i wish i could strangle you right now Mm. because he had like a weird haircut his hair looked too greasy and he had like a weird little belly one of our biggest fans (laughs) he turned out oh my god wait a minute i recommended some rice Wait a minute. That was my fast hair's finger greasy. slim. Wait a minute. I have I a little weird belly. little belly. Well, Fuck. belly. And so then this guy's telling me about how he makes these burritos with, and I feel like he was trying to appeal to me in some weird way because he was talking Sexually? about no, because he was talking about how it's dairy free cheese that he gets. Oh, so he, he knew your background. Like he knew my background or something, or it's like it's I, it's got to be undercover boss now that you mention it because it's like there's no way <laughs> undercover boss has been looking into you and your lifestyle. I believe because they see how much the under, under, is that the undercover. They boss see how much undercover your... boss I watch at home, and so this they're like, true. we got to get this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, he watches Big too much goddamn thing. undercover so boss. So then when you fight, sorry, my get leg your, hurts. Yeah, get your docs out of here yeah, are we, we just spreading get, docs across the table big boots yeah can we just like these boots are made for, for fucking oh, spread me um oh my knee and so he keeps going on about these burritos that he makes with these things and i'm like sounds great bro I'll sounds try like he out. wanted you to come over for dinner and then he <laughs> goes and then i need to get water like that's one of the main reasons i came to the store and i thought of you saying in my saying in some point on the show here i will go to the store and i will not get like four oh, yeah. things on the list just to get out episode, yeah, yeah because i needed i needed water so bad but i saw the guy go into the aisle and i was like i can't 
and it, because then he did that thing where like I had to turn around so he could come up to me for the rice. And then he was like, take care. And then we both walked the same oh, way. No. And I'm like, this situation literally oh, no. cannot get any worse. If someone, I was like, I was looking around for cameras. I thought you had something to do with it. And I was like, there's I no did. way. We just don't film it yet. I was like, there's no way that I'm this is sitting, happening I'm by just, chance. To yeah, me. I'm just sitting in the back watching the monitor. Like this is the best thing that's happened to me. He stresses me out <laughs> endlessly. And this is how I get my revenge. <sighs> I had this happen. At, I fucking went to a uh, road ranger. I don't wish ill on the man. I just want him. I just want to be left alone at the store. You know, right. that's why I bring headphones. But it's like, I didn't want to bring these. Yeah. And you, because what, you know what it was? See, I'll never turn around for a hey, bro. Uh, see, I, I will because sometimes a hey, bro, because a hey, bro could be a gun and then I'm getting shot in the back. Rather get shot in the back than in the fucking face. I would rather get coming. shot in the back and then have to have that fucking rice interaction <laughs> again. Oh, my God. I'm yeah. going to go home and make that rice and just throw it out just to spite no, the You got to know. What if it's so good that you That's understand? That's what I'm so scared of. Like, is that oh, I'm going to yeah, try it? I want to tell strangers how good this is. No, <laughs> that, that's that's the, how fucking it's, good this the is, rice It's like a horror movie. It's like the curse of the rice. It's like yeah. the rice just makes you go to the store and yeah. dress up like an Then employee. you go back and see that guy and he's like. Thank you. You, you freed me. Yeah. I hate that rice, and I hate that you, and I never like wanted to talk. Shit. Go eat your dairy-free burritos, you fucking <laughs> jackass. I went, I'm like, bro, your hair's too greasy for you to not be eating dairy. I went to, yeah, Road Ranger on my way to the store to get gas and cigarettes. Guy recommended cigarettes, Steve? Oh, no, no. I would just leave. <laughs> I would sincerely just leave. And I'm walking up to the door, and, like, I'm... I also have so much anxiety and panic when, like, someone else is coming for the door at the same time as you. And you're like, do I open it? And I'll always hold the door for someone. Right, it's just problem. polite. But just how awkward that's going to be. Like, yeah. we're both going to reach for the door. You're going to swing the door and knock two of my teeth in the back out. I'm going to call you ma'am and you're <laughs> sir because I just got flustered. And so. Nobody's going to be happy. Then you're like going to go, weird. it's ma'am. It's weird, if I can be honest, disgusting, like an old woman. And she's, like, clearly facing the register and, like, her hand is towards the door so that was like more panic for me because okay. i'm like is she gonna grab it at some point am she gonna i gonna grab push, me when i want am it? i gonna push the door into her old hand and nothing like having an wrist? old lady grab you unsolicited in a road range oh they'll do it too they're the perverts they're the men of the women gender. i remember Can we say that old women <laughs> are the men yeah are the, are the cre- creepy old cre- women or the creepy old men of the women gender yeah very good you know that female statement. gender <laughs> yeah we'll get to that we'll in a get minute. there i remember when i was I swear to God, I couldn't have been more than 13 or 14. I was at one of my uncle's house parties, and uh-huh. one of his friends was like this weird old biker chick, like way too tan, yeah. black chaps and everything. And Chap she got titties. Well, she got so drunk, and she kept grabbing my ass. And then, like, and of course, it's like a 14-year-old. I'm like, well, all right, a lady's grabbing my ass. And then later I told my mom, and she's like, you're a child. <laughs> Yeah, she had to like call my that. uncle and be like, "We can't come to your parties if your weird friend is gonna show up and oh, blast my you son." You can't block yourself. Yeah, I get from the parent. most interesting and aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely sure. First that, time. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. The, I would have loved my first time to be with an old biker chick when I was 14 who yeah. got passed around the Hell's Angels. That sounds fucking great. <laughs> you wouldn't have known any different. So anyway, I'm trying to. I open this door and this lady. You can tell there's something happening. And so, um, I walk up to the counter, and I'm like. Give me some small Give amount of me cigarette. Some small amount of money on whatever pump, because I traditionally don't like to fill my tank up very much. And then a pack of Newport 100. And I think the guy was like, "How you doing?" And I was like, "Good. How about you?" And then do you ever say that? And then you're like, "I wish I could do anything to take back." Yeah, I wish. Yeah. How you were, and that I could have. Which it was clear that this man would have just completely disregarded. The that best either thing way. to say, and I've trained myself to say this, is. I'm well. Thank you for asking. No, that's I hate that. I'd rather No, just I'll say, say that because then it doesn't open the door for them to start talking about their bullshit. It's very rare that like people talk to me after that cuz what I hate too is when uh, how are you? Good. How are you? And then they don't say anything. And yeah. I'm like, "Let me ask you a fucking question." Or when someone's <laughs> like, "How's it that. going? Good. How about you?" Okay. Fuck me, right? So, either way, but that's what I mean. Either way this guy would have just went into it cuz you could tell. And then I'm he starts going Oh, it's good. I'm here till 11. Um, but at 10, it'll get better. And then when people, you're like, you want me. 
you need me to ask you what happened. Yeah, you. Tent. I. I. That you're is that is shit. I hate when people, when people want you. It's like just tell me. Like yeah. if you're excited, just fucking tell me. I don't. Don't give lead a me fuck. in. Yeah, because I could give less of a fuck. I don't want to sit here and ask you questions yeah. about the shit you're excited about because you've made this fun fantasy in your head. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, somebody's gonna ask me. It's like, no, fuck you. Just tell me what you like. And so I, I just said, <laughs> oh yeah, and then he goes, yeah. Because someone comes uh, th- to relieve me. Well, they're, I still have to work another hour, but it'll go by faster once they're here. And I said, oh, yeah? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. But the good thing is in about 20 minutes, the online streaming awards are about to start. So I'm just going to watch that from my phone. And it was one of those things where, like, and I think I've been told, and I believe it to be true, that I put off an energy in a face that doesn't invite a lot of people to constantly which, ramble at which me. Which is the opposite, because I've been told I have the energy that, inv- for some reason, yeah. invites people to you just do. talk and random. Just random people will just yeah. sit there and just dish their whole life out to me. People and, will come up to me and give me rice recommendations yeah. and tell which, me about yeah, the fucking Which, yeah, I don't think burritos. I ever get that, because I think my face, my resting face is a bitch face. It and is. Then That's what I, I like about you. I think it's also, like... I have a hard time like hiding the fact that I want to strangle someone when they do things like this. But this guy did just more credit to him because he did not give up. He was talking about the streaming awards, which I didn't even know was a thing. And then he's like the people who I didn't know. And then, but he, when they hold your shit too, he was holding my cigarettes uh, and I had put my card in and done all the shit. And, it's and then I like and had my waiting. hand out and I was like, I'm going to fucking kill a road ranger employee. I'm going to put a pillow over his face and fucking stab him. You're going to make him into a le, hostage. Le, le bilio, <laughs> face le, stab. Le, 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 le petit face stab. Le, le. I've been obsessed with, um, there's a lot of things I always want to do say as a joke online but they don't work in a written form i get quick ones yeah i wish i had a third for branding but maybe we're different now i don't want to be married to anything um lay dumbass is so funny to me i just keep saying it in my head but even i think it's funny if you're like lay dumbass (laughs) lay dumbass i wanted to tweet it might not even been that it was lay something ass but lay dumbass and then i'm like you type it out and you're like there's nothing here. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't yeah. even, yeah. And the other one is, do you think there's a sake company that has created a sake? Am I saying it right? The, sake? The Japanese the alcohol? Yeah. Sake. Sake. For fuck sake. Right? It and has to. It has, it has to, to And writing that out is just confusing. Yeah. And I'm like, this is so... And I've been obsessed with it to the point where I'm like, maybe I make the sake. I would say, do we make our own brand of sake and call it for fuck sake? See, I don't even know how you Google it. You got to have that little... For fucks sake? S-A-K-I or S-A-K-E? It's S-A-K-E, which is the same. That's why it's for fuck's sake. For fuck sake. That's the joke. Just type in for fuck sake alcohol. For... Yeah, but type in sake is still sake we need the little accent mark you can't do that with a keyboard i don't know how and i don't need to learn it for one thing oh Uh, does it absolutely exist uh a lot of t-shirts i guess okay i don't uh, let's see oh yeah there's like a bottle i don't know if it's real because it comes from chairmanlol.com. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> I'm not going to trust the branding on that. You're saying that's not a real website? I hate to be that guy. It's a very real website. This has one star. The website or the sake? The sake. Mm. One star by 2,344 Huffers. What, what the hell is going What's on a huffer? here? What um, universe did I wake up in today? Warning contains dog. What? Oh, that's just offensive. I hate that I read that out loud. This has got to be fake. It's very confusing. I mean, it's just a picture. What do you think of this English? Wow, this is what this is crazy racist. offensive. I'm sorry that I said all these things. I'm definitely just reading them off of a website yeah, called this ShareManLOL.com. Oh, everything's one star. I don't understand what's happening here. We found a weird part of the internet. Yeah, a weirdly oh racist. God. What is this? Nine celebrity <laughs> before and after plastic surgery disasters? That is a disaster. If I saw that thing at 7 p.m. at, at any night, I would shoot it with If I saw that thing shotgun. at noon on a Tuesday, I would shoot it with a I shotgun. I would put a pillow over, over his face and shoot, shoot it with a shotgun. shotgun. Jesus Christ. Le dumbass. Le dumbass. 
So, yeah, don't go to chairmanlol.com. Yeah, don't go there unless you just hate Chinese people for and some reason. And if this reason. doesn't exist, then don't fucking make yeah, it. Yeah, if you make, make it without us, it. we're going to be fucking pissed. I'll sue you. We don't know how to Patent make sake pending. yet, but we'll do it. I think you just put like a... You just put rice and like water. To... It's rice alcohol. Okay. I know that. Rice, fermented orange peel with toothpaste in the sun. Okay, so we're going to make prison wine? <laughs> with rice. I don't want to disrespect anything after I already accidentally read that <laughs> horribly racist yeah, site. Yeah, I can't believe you said the, the English like that. Well, sometimes you I've never seen that word written to be or like that's not even written a word. out like that. Yeah, yeah. I've never Come seen to that think slur. of it now that you mention it. Yeah, yeah I've never so seen that written I said out. It and then Why is 2020 like, the year I find this slur on the internet? I don't know. It's one of those is things. Is 2020 where you're like, the year we figure out what new slurs are? I don't think that one's new. No, it exists, Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where you just read it because you've never the year of the written slur. heard it. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. Um, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't have said it if I'd have thought about it, but uh, yeah, I've just never read it We just wanted like to make that. a fun alcohol company, and now the I internet's know. ruining it with its racism. Yeah, you really put a damper yeah, on the Yeah, you really show. shit the bed on this one, you fucking racist. We were having a nice fun fucking. time talking yeah. about just riffing, talking about making alcohol, and then a bunch of fucking racists had to ruin it for everybody. Talking about making out? You wanna? What did you just say? I said a bunch of racists ruined it for everybody. No, you said talking about making out and a bunch of racists ruined it. No, I said talking about making sake. You didn't say sake. I swear I didn't say making out. <laughs> well, it sounded like making you out. Play it back. Someone <laughs> that I, if we do it, it all burns. Oh no! So someone tell us what Slim just said. Well, or did he say we'll making hate... out, or did he say making sake? I don't even and remember what no I said. No third I said, option. I said, yeah, if they said something <laughs> else, no... don't even fucking say it. I'm gonna just bleep it out. So oh. they're like, "Well, we can't, we can't even do this. Who did we this to you, us?" Fuckers. And it's you trying to hold a pillow over their face and shoot them <laughs> in the face with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> no, that's only for. The chairman, oh, only for or no, for that runs chairman, that lol. Freak. Yeah, that's why I was just looking. The was freak like, that runs chairman, lol. <laughs> no. You mean the fat, sad man? Yeah, that runs it has chairman to be a fat, LOL. sad LOL. white man. You mean the first hit that they've had on their website in months from yeah. us? What are you gonna do? And now all of our allegiance fans. No, I met that demon because I was thinking, why did I keep what this demon? page open? But I want to screenshot that nine celebrity before and after. Oh, that demon! If we I remember, thought... which we won't. No, we'll put it online. I don't know who the celebrity of that is. Yeah, even I don't know was, who that is either, but they but look she horrific. Turned she looked bad. Into a demon. She looked like something out of Resident Evil. She looked like yeah, something. That's who I shoot with. That's why they, that's why they call them cougars, right? <laughs> yeah, because they run out of beer. Oh, it's twenty twenty and we oh, forgot our joke. No. Our only joke. The one joke we no. have. This will never be the same. No. Just Yeah, I will only put a pillow and shoot a shotgun at a demon like that. Everyone else stabbed. You got to stab through the pillow. Yeah, because that thing you got to make sure it's so dead. Sounds so fun. Like I hate that. You know what else sounds fun? Ripping a man's ear off. Oh my god! Did, did you do it? it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did I forget to tell? I was you? gonna say uh, traditionally that would be something that would happen as you would do it and you would no, just fucking forget to tell me about it. There was two things I wanted to talk about in the <laughs> new year because we didn't record for a long time. Okay. One I don't remember. Traditionally. And the other one I did not remember until you just said this the dead air i have to type uh something about ripping a man's ear off i'm going oh, i just had to yawn as just so snoozy down here in the dungeon you know it's just real cozy and comfy drama doesn't like the way the energy's changed i think he's a fucking moron um how much force is required to tear off a human ear? Oh. I was literally just going about my day on the internet, and <laughs> I think it. it was like a YouTube comment or something, and someone was like, "Yeah, it's crazy. It's just like it, it, it takes this much force." Because they, they say it. Because they say ear. like biting through your, you could bite through a finger with enough force that you would bite through a carrot with. Oh, then I could bite through a, uh, the bone. Th see, that's where I get confused. There's no fucking way. The, Maybe you can, like... You could totally bite, but snap off a finger bone, though. Like, if you bit through all the flesh and just... Not as easy as a carrot. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> bite someone's finger off? I don't want your fingers in my mouth, even for science. <laughs> that's how I get you. Yeah, but I seen somewhere someone was like, this is the amount of force required to tear a human ear off. And I was like, wow, targeted marketing is getting so weird. So very specific. specific. They heard There's us not even screaming a about it drunk buy. in the car one There's night. not even a product to buy. Sure there is. How to tear a man's ear off in nine days. <laughs> and yeah, so this is some, this is, this is the forum on straightdope.com. Straight dope? 
Yeah, from 2004. Oh, so we're it, going deep into the archives. I was going to say, this. this isn't like some kind of heroin board, is it? No, I think it's like cool stuff. Oh, like let's, heroin? Hold on, yeah, hold on. Let's take a quick look. Straight dope message board. God, there are so many fucking ads on this shit. About this message board. Let's make sure. Is that oh a jackrabbit with a man's face? There are... Okay, these are just... At first, I was like, there's this many... <laughs> about the message Arguments. board threads um yeah i don't know it's it's old timey so no one knew what they were doing yeah it's 2004 some of the earliest internet ever and this is one of the questions so this proves people have been pondering this for time for, um, like 15 years at least yeah uh, a friend of mine told me it was relatively easy to tear off a human ear but does anyone know just how much force is required on the average adult male any documented cases available and then there's a lot of stupid fucking people um someone says it's different if the ear is cauliflowered which i i don't know that's that's like wrestler's ear that's where, i like, know you, but like how would that because i feel like it make if the tissue what, what is more the bunched together well i mean <laughs> that's so fair if, if you're in a situation with a man where you're possibly ripping his ear off something tells me that man could more often than not have cauliflower ear i mean he's at least got wrestler's ear He's got something. Um, I'm trying to find where it was. Where's the answer? It, it, this person, I haven't fully read it, so I hope there's no more uh, offensive things. But mm. um, it seems like they know what they're talking about. It depends on how you do the tear. If you grab along the outside edge by clamping it between your four fingers and palm. Which then, is what we've gone with generally. No, I've always said. I uh, See, I've always these. thought like this. I never. I honestly never even thought of that. I'm thinking just index and thumb. And just pinch hard and pull? Yeah, at the top. Well, either way, really. I feel like that's just going to you know rip I mean? it. It's just not going to tear the ear off. Or from the bottom? No, or... that, there's no way. that you got to get it from the top and pull down. I feel like you got to pull down. This would tear quicker. Yeah, that would tear this quicker. This would tear more. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for more. Right. I feel like I'm going for the whole ear. Like, if I'm taking an ear, I'm taking, like, some cheek skin with it, too, you know? Yeah, this person is saying if you put them between your four fingers and palm and pull straight out to the side, you couldn't tear it off. Which I've never even thought about. Just going straight out. I would love out. to do that now just, that I know that that's a possibility. If you grab the top flap in between your thumb and side of the index finger, then sharply twisted and pulled straight down really hard. Well, I don't really know. I don't like thinking about that. Well, you really fucked us. You had it so good. Yeah. And then, and then you, you started thinking like, about it like a oh, dumb I bitch. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it either. That's why I need a fucking answer. Half of Mick Foley mankind his ear was ripped off in a match That's true. and it wasn't cauliflowered at all cartilage is tougher than skin or fat but on the ear it's not really that thick so it has the potential to be really fragile that's what i'm thinking so yeah i keep seeing 10 pounds of force seems to which be. isn't that much no not at all uh someone's still got a volunteer to let us do it yeah i'm trying to see if there's I'm not seeing here's, any here's something here's cases. something I will I really wish I had prepped this but you really just threw it yeah. out there now I forgot what I was gonna tell you oh I remembered but I'll forget again okay. anyway <laughs> um, I think I think what I, I I'm gonna lay this out on the table for you right now if I right. die before you you have permission Love to it. rip the ears off my corpse all right that's episode 127 at about fuck I can't do math 45 minutes in <laughs> Someone's looking at their phone like this is like, oh, going on for way longer, longer than, than they think. All right, I yeah, I will forget what episode it's in. Um, when you die, listeners, when some dies, someone remind me that I get to do that. That would be fucking sick. Especially that's what I'm saying. Imagine yeah. I want to give that to you. Imagine your family, and I'm like, he's one of my best friends. We had the whole brand together. We've made millions of dollars and fucked numerous whores at the exact same, same time. time. And I love him, and I hate that I have to do this in front of you, but... And then I just rip your fucking ear off. And put it your in your funeral. pocket. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep, keep it. I'm definitely going to keep it. Dry it out. <laughs> wet you, it. You gotta, wet it every you, morning. <laughs> ooh, you got to put one of my favorite plugs in it and, like, dry it out and keep it in a shadow No, box. I'm probably going to cut that and make it into a normal ear, because mm. I don't like plugs, honestly. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm going to be like, ah, the ears he always should have had. Um, definitely pulling both your ears off, too, because you know how I like to... That's what I'm saying, yeah. Do a little Symmetry. more than I was offered. Um, like to really overstay my welcome when ripping off a friend's ears. Yes, yeah, so I'm not getting. I swear I read like a better. I think you made it up. Thing. 
Maybe it wasn't on the straight dope uh, forums. Yeah, it was probably on funtrivia.com, which looks way more normal, but is also from 2007. This is You can takes, tell from the way these are laid I out know, that these are insane. like from 2007. It takes eight pounds of pressure to rip off a human ear. And that's thought it was from, 10. Well, this person has uh, a link and more information. Um, that the human this is what I was looking for exactly. The human ear will rip off with the same effort it takes to rip twelve pages of regular bound paper. Twelve pages. Okay, but okay, now when you say bound paper, are we talking like a notebook or like I think like a magazine or like a you know we, what I we mean? Got, we Something gotta test little, this. Even if it's like a thick paper, twelve pages, I feel like you could rip how many pieces of paper are over there in that printer? Uh, I hope twelve. Oh, this is like, I think this is thicker than we're asking for. This is a computer paper. This is like, oh yeah, that's, thick. that's, that's <laughs> and it's probably for something we're not supposed to rip up. And um, there's eleven. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of other. Yeah, just grab twelve pieces of paper. This is when we find out that we're very weak. <laughs> you hate to see it. All right, give me. The there's answer. eleven pieces there. Well, it's thick. This seems about like paper. all right so this is the test yeah. to see if we can yeah i was gonna count them out one of us has to talk okay and i can't count, yeah, count and talk ca- okay so count those out and see if there's 12 there it's really stuck together because i feel like if we can each do this i feel like i feel like if we can each rip 12 that's just proof that we can do it will you feel better knowing that you can do it if we can i am a visual learner so i will feel better having done something okay i feel like i'll have a better understanding I because that's what one, i want i want I to, you to need to have the experience yeah. to do it there's no way this is equivocal no to the bloodlust of ripping a man's ear off <laughs> i need the screaming i need the gore I, yeah i need the blood i need the howling these are like weirdly i need the pain 11 12 all right now you talk while i count my 12 or yeah just count count this I'll count yeah, this. this. Okay, one. Neither of us will talk. Now two, three. Got to fill the air with something. Four. Watch the video, kids. <laughs> We've earned a little quiet time. We have. Six. Nine, ten, twelve. You got okay. twelve? I've got twelve. Take this quiet time for yourselves, listener. Think of three things that you're grateful for today, and then put them into the action. Of shuffling papers. <laughs> yeah, this probably is what the show's turned into in 2020. Because it, it's probably funnier to just hear us hear grown men shuffle papers. Talking ear off. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. I'm scared. I'm not gonna be able to do I it. I know. It's I'm gonna also scared. I'm not gonna be able to do it. And we're gonna have to quit the show 45 <laughs> minutes early because we're so sad <laughs> and upset. Like we can't rip 12 because it seems really simple. It seems simple. Holding it, it feels a little different. It's, it's a little are, thing. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Are we gonna cheers? So, <laughs> so what is it? Yeah. So what do we do? Do we just rip from the top and like rip in half? Yeah. I guess. However, you have to do it. <laughs> so <laughs> oh easy. My God. Unbelievable. All right, now let's easy. rip it again to and take take your time and think about that being an ear because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's so easy. Yeah, it can't be that. There's no easy. way it's that no. easy to rip an now ear. Now I off. have to do it. Oh no, this didn't give Look me at this. any peace. That's an ear. That's another ear. That's another ear. Yeah, that didn't give that's me an ear. any peace. Okay, well, actually, mind. okay. Now I, here's what I want to do. Actually, I want to rip it into it. Your that's shape. about an ear size, right. right about here. Yeah. So if I was to like grab your ear from the top, and it's like, oh god, yeah, that's so <laughs> easy. There's no way I can't rip a fucking ear off. It There's comes... no fucking okay. okay. If you're at home, go find twelve pieces of paper. <laughs> yeah, and r- see how easy that was to do because there's no way it's that easy to rip off an ear. I'm not convinced. Yeah, I'm... we're gonna have to go get like a pig carcass from Eichmann's or something and rip the ears off. That's it. what I mean. This didn't satisfy anything for me. It's only given me more questions. <laughs> yeah, if anything. I feel like I need to go rip some more ears off. I feel like if I was to go rip a man's like, ear off this. and the cops showed up and they were like, "What the fuck?" I could be like, "Listen." I ripped 12 pieces of paper. I, t- I was told 12 pieces of paper would be, and then I'd have them rip the paper, and then they'd be and like, the cops, like, all right, it actually we feels more like this, and then they shoot you. <laughs> oh, no, this feels nothing like ripping 12 pieces of paper. They're like, this doesn't feel like ripping an ear off at all. The cops like, heard you don't like gay cops. <laughs> <laughs> that one you can't pay for, folks. Uh, this this is all stems from a Reddit thread 
Although the Reddit thread is only four years old. Okay, I don't like the sound of paper ripping I'm, anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm seeing how easy it is to do. Yeah, we've established it's too. It's easy. just very oh, had to rip easy. It twice to know it couldn't have been right. This comes from a Reddit thread that's four years old. Although that thread we were reading was from 2007. Okay. And it says, "How hard would you have to punch someone for their ears to fall off?" Asking for a friend. Punch someone for the ears to fall off. Yeah. I feel like they would pop off, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I feel like what's in the ears off. would pop out from the pressure of the punch. I don't know. Have you ever seen a man's head explode? I, I'm saying I, if you would have to punch someone's head so hard it explodes if the ears are going to fly off. <sighs> but how hard are you punching? Hard enough to punch through his head, I feel like. Because you need to take a, some type of force and velocity and push what's in the ears out. So all those little weird ear bones and everything else are going to be flying out. I don't know. I keep seeing that goddamn anthropomorphic <laughs> ear I every know. time you search for and something. It's really stressing me out. I'm realizing that it is a video called How Much Pressure is Needed to Rip Your Ear Off? Question <laughs> mark. It appears to just be someone reading. We'll take, look at it later. I was, was going to say when, we're, when we finish this, pop that up. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of... This, there's a lot of people asking this question for years, so I'm not it's, alone. Yeah, it I'm seems like it's something that people want to know about. Yeah, this again says I'm, people say seven pounds of pressure is what it takes. It keeps getting lower. And the equivalent to tearing a stack of 12 sheets of paper. Someone said, sadly, yes. Yesterday, I, sadly. Ripped, I ripped my ear off because I got mad. Bye bye, ear. God, the internet was weird back in the day. Now it's just a cesspool. Full of Chinese There's slurs. It's got um, a... Oh, that's oh so yeah, cool. and I had Googled far more. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I can't wait to look at the internet after we're done with this. <laughs> Just see everything Fuck we got going this. on. Um, we got a submission you want to pull up there? We do have a submission. Should we talk about the submission that's in person? Yeah, we actually got an in-person submission. Somebody yeah. came down to the dungeon and wrote on our whiteboard, we don't know who you are, but reveal yourself, coward. Yeah, that's not allowed. Don't get any wise ideas. Um... I was going to make a funny joke that said, if you do want to come, it's, and then say your address, your oh, real address. Oh, yeah. Then I get tired of bleeping shit out sometimes. And you're so weird about not publicly saying your address. Weird. Anyway, yeah, crazy. Get tickets to any concert free, but anytime you take, you anytime you try to talk or post about it, you tell the other person slash internet you saw Avril Lavigne. It's not uh, a would you rather. It's just, it's uh, just uh, would you do it? Yeah. Uh, I would say yeah. Yeah. Because, like, fuck I'll everybody else. Yeah, because, I mean, you could be seeing, like, the ultimate yeah, lineup of, like, concert? Kanye West opening up for Frank Ocean. Yeah, does it have to be a concert that exists in the future now? Or can I just make up a concert? Yeah, can I... Can if I can make... Which, that, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. I say it has to be... Well, because it's any concert for free. So, it's, like, any ridiculous concert that we... Because, I mean, how often is it we're, like, we want to go see somebody, and then we look at ticket prices, and we're, like, no, thank you. Frank Ocean is headlining Coachella. Yeah, you think we're going to go to Coachella? <laughs> I'm going to fly out there doubt it kiss yeah frank doubt on it the lips. oh if you kiss frank on the lips we just blow up like, everybody starts listening to the podcast Everybody's oh i thought like, you Who's meant that like my head explodes that like, too yeah your your ears are gonna fucking fly off of your head i rip off frank, frank ocean's ear no, on the stage at you coachella can't, you can't you can't hurt but frank. he understands my life will be ruined if you hurt frank ocean because people are going to come after you, and then they're going to come after this, which means they're going to come after me. I thought you were referring to yourself as this, and I was disgusted. No. <laughs> they're going to come after this. They're going to come after this. Um, they're going to come after all this. Uh, they just play with my nipples for the rest of the show. They're going <laughs> to come after all That's fine. This. I just put it behind the pop filter. And I it don't actually know doesn't feel that bad. Uh, nipple play? Yeah, you ever do nipple play when you jack off? <laughs> no. Give it a shot sometime. It's not bad. I probably won't. It's pretty nice. I'm pretty like we've been over this. I'm, you're, I'm yeah, you're a run of the mill kind of guy. I'm I'm trying not things even out. that. I'm just I you know I know what I need from myself with self love, solo sex. <laughs> I hate Whatever. calling it was that. that what it was? Yeah, solo sex. Solo sex. Solo. Solo. Um, so yeah, I take the the tickets and I probably also go see Avril Lavigne. Yeah, why free. not? Just if go I was see like Avril in Levine. Chicago and someone's like Avril Lavigne's down the street at this bar cuz I she doesn't I'd be do like, well, right? Si- yeah, I'd be like sick is she doing that Hello Kitty song that didn't land very well? I Is she still attractive? Uh she's a clone. Yeah, everyone is. Yeah. Um I mean, I don't know. Let pop a quick current Avril Lavigne. <laughs> yeah, let's pop a quick current Avril Lavigne. I need more tabs open. They're getting to that point where they're so they're tiny. They're so tiny. Avril 
Levine, 2019 is is the first result. Yeah, let's take a looky here. Oh, not bad. I'd go watch that. I'd see this. Yeah. She still looks stupid, but in like a better way. I mean, like she, an adult I way. mean, she was married to the singer from Nickelback, so what do you expect? I thought it was the singer of Sum 41. No, it was Nickelback. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> How positive are you? 100% I know what, positive. I know what time it is. It's the time when we read Avril Lavigne's Wikipedia. Oh, see if she perfect. Has sexually assaulted anyone. <laughs> no, but she was with the singer Damn, of Nickelback. Damn, a big fat one. Well, yeah, she, she was a hit pop star. By 15, she had appeared on stage with Shania Twain. I do that's like Shania a, Twain. That's just a, a fact that was put into the first that part. That don't of impress her. me. Damn, much. this is a fucking oh, long oh, thing. Uh, uh, so you. All right, we're not going to read about her real life because I don't really care. Get to the cloning. But I think <laughs> you're all right. What but about her I, acting career? She was in acting? She was in acting. <laughs> <laughs> she was in acting a hostage situation? You're doing a situation. great job at acting. <laughs> Um, acting like a human you're just like me her first television appearance was in a 2002 episode of sabrina the teenage witch that was on performing i was also surprised but that probably makes sense performing skater boy with her band in a nightclub so her acting debut was her Her playing playing herself yeah not even herself just like when slipknot was in rollerball (laughs) no not like that at all um Wow, there are so many parts to her yeah, Wikipedia. Yeah, I didn't know she was such a interesting person. Wow, activism and charity work? What? Public image? She doesn't do any of that. I wonder. Oh, Ooh. yeah, it does have... Here's the cloning. Levine has been the subject of a conspiracy theory that states that she committed suicide in 2003 yep. and was replaced by a body double who had previously been recruited to distract paparazzi. This originated as a joke on a Brazilian blog, but has been has since been embraced by some theorists. In an interview with Australia's KIIS 106.5, is that good, uh, Barry? Let us know. Yeah, let us if you know, listen Barry. To kiss but with two eyes instead of two s's don't listen to the other kiss uh in november 2018 levine responded to the rumor calling it weird Fair. interesting cover up yeah oh that's weird she has a section about her tattoos what this might be you the think she writes her own wikipedia, wikipedia page i've ever seen and there's like a picture explaining one of the tattoos whatever it's a xx can you imagine having this much intimate knowledge about avril levine's tattoos i wish um hold on her her love of tattoos however gained media attention in may 2010 after levine and brody jenner each got matching tattoos of the word fuck on their ribs levine <laughs> appeared on in the june what July timeline are cover we story for inked magazine where she discussed and showed off her tattoos including an abby dawn on her left arm a and what? A, it's just Abby Dawn. Abby, it's oh, not like a Abby's cool... dong. I was like, she's got a dong on her. <laughs> yeah, arm? it's a piercing where they give you a big metal cock. They on give your you vagina. a big old cock on your vagina. <laughs> yeah, it hangs down. Is it like a strap arm? Do, can you tie it in a knot? No. Can you tie it in a bow? Yeah. Can you throw it over your shoulder like a continental soldier? <laughs> no. Does your weird metal dick implant hang low? <laughs> no. How confusing. An XXV and star on her X right. XXX. Although she confirmed the fuck tattoo verbally in an article calling it her favorite word, she had it applied Radical. after the magazine's photo shoot. She added that she eventually wanted to get, quote, big ass heart with a flag through it with the name. I'm going to wait a few years and make sure I still want it then. I have to wait for that special someone to come back into my life, unquote. Chad Kroger. Um, Nickelback fame. In July 2010, she got Brody's name tattooed underneath her right titty. The couple announced they broke up. Does it say titty? In, in 2012. No, it doesn't say titty. Aw. I was like, damn, yeah, Wikipedia where's the is Wikipedia getting cool these titties? days. All right. Relationships. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. We know you're salivating for this. Derek Wembley, Levine and some 41 lead vocalist, rhythm guitarist Derek Wim- Wembley. So that was a thing. Of course it was. Began dating when Levine was 19 years old after being friends since she was 17. In June 2005, Wembley proposed to her. The couple married on July 15, 2006 in Monticello, California. On October 9, 2009, Levine 
filed for divorce, releasing the statement, I am grateful for our time together. Together. And I am grateful. Together. And blessed for our How'd remaining How'd you know friendship. I was British, bruv? The divorce was finalized on November 16, 2010. So they were fucking married. And then he got real fucking crazy looking. You remember? Real yeah. bloated yeah. alcoholism or yeah. something? Or may- can you imagine Avril Lavigne's the woman that ruined him? Yeah. I she mean, was so good that he got all fat and bloated and alcoholic. Yeah. And then Brody Jenner. Uh, she started dating the Hills star Brody Jenner in 2010. After date, after almost two years of dating, the couple split in 2012 after getting matching fuck tattoos and a, his name under her right titty. And then that's it. And then it goes into health. Interesting. I feel like I see something else. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I feel sorry. like, I feel like if I take a look. I might have overlooked. Maybe Get just your grubby little fucks off of me. My grubby little fucks Chad off of Chad Kroger, the owner of Kroger Grocery Stores. Ah, yes. Um, How she, crazy would that she be? She began dating fellow Canid- Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> yeah, every time I start Can-dadian. reading that, I start with Canada, and then I have to uh, double back Canadian? into Adian. Uh, Canadian. Musician. Chad Kroger, frontman of the band Nickelback in July 2012. The relationship blossomed after they began working together in March 2012 to write and record music for Levine's fifth album. Levine and Kroger became engaged in August 2012 after one month of dating. The couple married at the fucking crazy thing I could never say, which is a reconstructed medieval castle on the Mediterranean in the south of France. On July 1st, 2013 which is canada day after a year of being together on september 2nd 2015 levy announced her separation from kroga 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 <laughs> what her is happening to you over here instagram account sometimes i have to read too much kroga. Of and they've got all these fucking numbers because there's so many references for this yeah your bitch. little speech impediment comes out and it's cute kroga Check um, Quoga. So she's say- she's available, ladies and gentlemen. So what you're saying is we should try to. I should I'm try just to... trying to get drama under that left titty, Brody drama. No, her fuck boobs are very drama. No, fuck was on her ribs. Fuck Brody drama. Bro- Brody drama. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> now it's confusing. And then I want to. Then I want to get a red X through the drama and have her put slim underneath it. God, her tits are confusing. <laughs> Such a mess. You're just like holding them up when she's on top of you. And you're like, uh, I don't think she has stuff? boobs that big that you can hold them up. You can hold anyone's boobs up. I mean, they, they're, you're they're holding them up because bo- she's on top of you and she's like cowering over you. Oh, yeah. I'm cowering. And cowering is the wrong word. <laughs> what? Every woman who writes you doesn't cower? No. Huh. You're not doing it right? No, they tend to just get really mad. <laughs> I, I'm sure. Because you're constantly falling asleep. You're constantly falling asleep and coming way too fast. Taking a quick little nap and coming inside of them. You can't say. In an order you would be In an order about. that would shock you. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a submission. Just one. We had 10 last episode, so I don't know what the fuck we did. Episode. But, uh, it we really hurts it. that you guys would do this to us. It comes from Jill. The email seems like it's real. So since Jill's a good, good fan, I'm not going to say it. Uh, but just know if we have your real email, you're going to sign up for Pop it. Bellies. The sandwich shop. Because someone did it to us. Someone did that to <laughs> us, yeah. And we've we've learned the, the power of being illegally signed up for a Pop Bellies. <laughs> Does that mean we're me? getting the rewards at least? Yeah, but I'm never going to Pop Bellies. It's not like, like rewards, think it, it's just like, but hey, no, come eat a fucking... I was going to say, because now I'm pissed because I feel like if I downloaded the app <laughs> no. to get the, get the points, I wouldn't know the password because I didn't set it up. I don't... I need to know who know. set we it up. We need to look into this more. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Who of a signed deal. us up for pot bellies? Yeah, come forth. Um, the title is Golden Girls. And it said, listening to the first episode of 2020 and hearing drama sing the whole Golden Girls theme, it strangely warms my heart that such a young man appreciates a classic. I am 37 years old, I think I alluded to earlier in yeah. this episode. If he I can may, keep this. Jill, straight. he may be your senior. <laughs> yeah. Jill, I might be your grandpa. And I would like I would like at some point on this podcast to talk about becoming your own father. I don't know how we've went almost 130 episodes and something I used to talk about endlessly. No, becoming your own grandpa. See, I don't even remember. You got to go back in time and fuck your grandma. No, you don't even have to do that. Yeah, you do. No, that's just fun. <laughs> for you. For me? Not for me. I don't want to go back in time and fuck my grandma. Ugh. I want to go back in time and fuck your grandma. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, baby. It better be the Be your grandpa. One. 
Um, no, you can be your own grandpa through How? a fairy. There's a there's a chart. I used to bring this up more. Bring it up now. Often than that. No, but there's a submission. Okay, we'll bring it up after the submission. I won't remember. Oh, that's such a <laughs> damn too shame. Many t- See, you don't oh, even no. care about being your own grandpa. You're taking it for granted. Because how the fuck grandpa, am I supposed to be my own grandpa? There's a fucking chart. Explain it to me. I don't remember. You basically have to fuck a bunch of people and marry someone, and then you end up... You're not literally your own grandfather Oh, I thought that's blood. what we were going for. No, you're legally your own grandpa. Okay, yeah, so, look this up, because i got to figure this out. All right, I'm going to type how to be your own grandma, and then we're going to read this submission. Fill the dead air okay, with something but, good. Uh, th- God, you know I can't be put on the spot like this. That's all this is. No, but I need somebody to riff off of. I need to talk to somebody. I was if thinking I'm you would like, make music with your mouth. Yeah, I was going to say, this is just, this is like, all right, all right, cut the, cut the copyright infringement, please. We get a YouTube flag, it's like, whoa, that guy's really good at beatboxing. All right, uh, to continue the submission before we get into what we all really want to know now, what other 80s slash 90s sitcoms do you enjoy or have fond memories of? King of the Hill and Simpsons don't count because we already know of your obsessions. Wow. How dare you? How fucking dare you? How dare you, you not let us talk about Simpsons How when you know it's all we really want to talk about? After it's all I've been watching for the last month. Yeah, it's all I'm ever watching, and I'm upset when I'm not I watching know. It. I really need to be watching The Simpsons right now. Yeah, it would really put me at ease. Uh, I don't know. What are some other 80s shows that we like? I don't know. I traditionally don't like old things. You don't like anything before the 70s. I know that. Oh, or is it 80s? It includes 80s, because some shit in the 80s fucking sucked. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Nineties would probably be like, what did I watch as a kid? When did King Queen start? That was like a two thousand show. I feel like sure? it was like two thousand, two thousand. Like it could have slipped in. It could have. If it's if it slipped in, it was. I got yeah, this figured got out. To, if it slipped in, it's like yeah, open some more tabs. If it's, well, it's if, gonna be confusing tomorrow morning. If it slipped morning, in, it's gonna I'm be like, like ninety eight or ninety nine. Oh, nineteen ninety eight. Really? So it did slip so in. So that means. If you want to keep with the uh, theme. Keep with the trend. How's it go? My eyes are getting weary. My back is getting tight. I'm sitting here in traffic on the Queensburg Bridge tonight. And I don't care because all I want to do is cash my check and drive right home to you. (laughs) Baby, all my life I will be driving home to you. That's going to be my wedding song, you piece of shit. You don't know the fucking King of Queens theme song? Heaven forbid, oh I don't know God. it off the top of my head. You don't have me on any of these theme songs, and no. it's really tearing the brand apart. Also, there's a definitely a Patreon episode where we just sing theme songs for some reason. Yeah. www.patreon.com slash Dapper Dads. Um, what else was there? Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, yeah. Which but we have no, nothing was, to do with anymore. No, no we no, had to d- separate ourselves from that. No Raymond anything. Don't even know what you're Third talking about. Third Rock from the Sun. Mm-hmm. I watched that. I don't think I ever understood it. Will and Grace. Mm. I watched mm-hmm. and I didn't understand as Friends. a child. Friends. Seinfeld. The classics. The good stuff. Um, Biker Mice from Mars. Which is... The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. Mm-hmm. He Where was that a, mashup movie? The Biker Mice Toaster <laughs> goes the to Mars. My biker Mice versus the little Brave Little Toaster on oh, Mars. The mice would have won. Oh, hell yeah. They would have ripped all those electronics I apart. I watched it recently out of curiosity. Biker and it Mice? Felt racist. The Biker Mice? Yeah. What felt racist about it? It seemed very racist. <laughs> Can you be more specific? It was a, about like Italians and how they're. I don't. I think I've already reached my goal. I was saying, you've already, yeah, you've been pretty racist on this, on episode. this episode thus far ah. already. Um, you've done your one racist thing that you can do. Fair enough. That's a, that's a uh, allowable It's a fair limit. cap. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, I always think of more cartoons and shit. I'm trying to think of sitcoms. Because I don't... I would say I sitcoms like we were what I... watch re- stuff. You were just watching what other it people It was just on... Well, yeah, yeah, it was like what my parents were watching. Right. And yeah, I don't... 
I Becker. Know. I loved Becker. Oh, I was going to bring up Becker. When I Becker read this, the tight. first thing I thought was Becker. And I watched, I sincerely watched that on my own. Yeah. When like I got that a was TV a good, in my room. Yeah. I remember watching it really late at night before the yeah. Girls Gone Wild co- commercials mm, would come fuck, on. Yeah. Good times. I would just watch it even when it wasn't on that late because I would watch Fox and like most of the time it would be Simpsons and then they'd be like changing the program and here's Becker. And at first you're like, I hope you fucking die. But I would, then, if like, you were, if Fox was a person, I, I would, would put a pillow kill over, over your, your face and stab it. it. Not not shoot with a shotgun. No, I still respect just a monster. That. Yeah, just that no, demon just bitch. That demon that we'll bitch. <laughs> Let anyone in on. No. Go to uh, chairmanlol.com. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no, it's racist. Um, but yeah, then eventually you watch enough Becker and you're like, and it's good. You know what? It's a good show. It's a good TV show. Got the blind guy in the cafe. Yeah, who's been in a bunch of shit. But, yeah, and then they got the w- weird little Italian guy that lives with his mom. That's not ringing a bell for some reason. The little guy with the jacket that would come in all the time. God, yeah. we sound old. <laughs> I know. I know. I gotta watch some Decker. I yeah, let me tell you, there was nothing better than up. that. Nothing better than that mood shift in the Becker episode where he's like helping the old lady get around town to go see her son, and then we find out her son died in nine eleven, and it was like a nine eleven dying <laughs> it episode. Gave me chills because I forgot that it existed. Yeah, you remember that Did one? Did the blind now? guy's dog die at some point? Yeah, too? The bl- yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, it was Becker a heavy was a show. Damn roller coaster for a nine year old. Because to then be it had the cr- his himself. crazy receptionist that was a crazy white girl who yeah. was in a new metal band. Mm. Uh, I forget which one, but she was in a new she metal had big band. Healthy boobs? I don't think they were big healthy boobs, but she was hot. Okay. Because then he, because there was a. <laughs> you know what we gotta you, do? You know what you gotta do? Pop a quick Google, look for the Becker, Becker cast. <laughs> uh, because that, yeah, because then I remember the juxtaposition of that woman being like, "My son died on 9/11," and then like the camera pans away, and then it just started the Girls Gone Wild commercials. Oh, she's real funny looking. Yeah, but she's like kind of fine at the same time. Oh yeah, there it I is. I forgot. Yeah, she's that, super, I see. I was yeah. her, his friend. N- Who's this? Ruth? Yeah. Rose? Oh, Rose. Fuck it's some. I, yeah, I want to say Rose. I think, but it's I feel Rose. like that might not be right. She's hotter to me. You no, I thought the receptionist was way. No, the receptionist hotter. is a little stupid. That's what I like. I like a stupid bitch. You know, you know this. I love a stupid bitch, but I don't know. And then, oh, this was Becker's. I would say I got to look up the cast of love Becker. interest, right? Ted, okay, Ted Danson is Becker. No shit. Uh, Hattie Winston is Margaret, Becker's nurse and office manager. So that's the one you like. Uh, are we looking at the same thing? Oh, oh I'm God. on Wikipedia. No. no, Ted Danson. What happened? <laughs> Reggie. No, wait. Reggie? Re- yeah, Reggie's... her name was Reggie. I thought yeah. Reggie was the blind guy. No, Reggie was the girl. Who's the blind guy? Oh, she did not age well either. Ooh. Shawnee Smith is Linda. Hmm. Alex. Jake? Alex Dessert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he aged well. Yeah. Okay. We Chris, can't... I remember Chris. Oh yeah. My God, these people have gotten old. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah, Bob, the little guy. Yeah. 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 He was like, the, he was like the weird. Yeah, he always flirts with Reggie. Yeah. Oh. It's a sand... God, it's can a... we just go home and watch <laughs> yeah, some yeah, Becker? To you want to get us? You want to get some Natter days and go watch some Becker? Okay. So Reggie. They're... All right. Yeah. Bob. We can't continue to do this because this doesn't work for. Anybody. I know, but it's like, um, man, I just really. So love chill. There Becker. you go. We fucking love Becker. Yeah. I didn't even know I loved Becker this much until I. Seen some still images from Becker. Give me some pictures of Linda. Wow. So yeah, um, go watch Becker if you're not familiar. It's a it's a fucking classic. It's a damn fine program. Oh, I wonder how it holds up. Now I'm scared to watch it. And it Becker, ah, uh, yeah, you I'm worried I mean? that it's not going to be good. But I feel like. Do you remember Just fun. Shoot Me? Yeah, that I, was a good show. I watched show. a lot of Just Shoot Me. Actually. Yeah, Just we watched a lot of it in my house too because my sister brought it up the la- one of the last times we were together, and she's like, "You remember Just Shoot Me?" I'm like, "Yeah, we had that on constantly." Yeah, I think it was just on Just lot. Shoot Me, Spin City. You remember Spin City? I remember. I didn't watch that one as much. I didn't like it. I re- I liked it because it I had like, like it, it had like that suicidal pug in it. It was like a pug that could that only it was so weird. I don't know. Only <laughs> the so owner could hear it talk. That show where um no. the guy got the newspaper the day before and he could like stop crime. Have we talked about this? I talked in depth with someone. Yeah, every morning, I feel like it was like a TNT, TBS type show. Every morning in front of his like apartment door would be a newspaper. That was like the beginning of every episode. They, I guess they threw newspapers in an apartment complex. That already, this yeah, already, this is already does, apart. this doesn't Fuck. add up. And he would get it and it would be tomorrow's news. And then he would try to... He had to, to like save the day. Yeah, deal based with on the decision news. of like, do I try to fix this or not? And like step in and whatever. I remember the Bernie Mac show. I watched the hell out of the Bernie oh, Mac yeah. show. I did too. Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, God. I was thinking yeah. those two together. I feel like they were on back to back at some point in my yeah, life. Yeah, because I feel like on Fox at one point, it was like Bernie Mac, 
Malcolm in the Middle, Greg the Bunny. Oh, I remember when Greg that. the Bunny yeah. was Seth Green, like one of his yeah, first TV didn't shows? Yeah, that last long, did it? I don't. I remember I liked it a lot, but I remember it only lasting for like, like a season or something. I didn't like Greg the Bunny, but I feel like there was another TV show that was like almost the same thing with puppets. With like a yeah, like one puppet. Like I swear to God, it was so close to Greg the Bunny, but it wasn't Greg the Bunny. Was the guy the uh the guy with the big eyebrows from American Pie? Was he and Greg the Bunny? Yeah. Okay. I swear. What there was the fuck is his show. name? Gene. Shallot. Gene Shallot. <laughs> Someone said that name to me like earlier today, so it's the only Gene I have locked and loaded. Which who's Gene Shallot? I think it's a really old guy. Is it the guy with the mustache? I'm gonna take a quick. I'm gonna take a quick look. Here. No, no more tabs. For, for this this episode Gene, is brought to you by the internet. Gene Shallot. Shallot. Yeah. Oh, that was the crazy uh, book critic yes, from the, the mustache. mustache. Yeah, you're thinking of Gene Shallot, the, the movie critic from the Today Show. You're thinking Eugene Levy. That that's yeah. the guy we're thinking of. <laughs> we're so stupid and old. Where's that movie with Eugene Levy and Gene Shallot? Is Gene Shallot alive? What name? What kind of? No, he's for. Oh, no, he is. <laughs> How old is he? 84? 93. <laughs> we are learning. Where is so Kurt? Oh, my. Today. Yeah, you want to see current Gene Shallot? That is. <laughs> <laughs> physical appearance in years <laughs> save that send that to me. print that out and put it above my bed so, you want so to, when i wake up from you want just some nice stock photos of gene shallot to go with no, it I've as seen, well i've seen all the other ones i did i was not keeping up how did i forget gene shallot for a hot minute <laughs> who who do you think ever looked at gene shallot and was like i gotta fuck this guy <laughs> can you imagine just this writhing around on top of you no. did you come yet <laughs> oh my god so yeah there you go there's some things we like what am i thinking of and also there was a tv show that was like a puppet on like comedy central or something and i swear it had the guy from uh married with children the dad and there was like a puppet he talked to and uh i feel like the the theme song was that hit the road jack don't you come back no more 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 Hit yeah. the road, Jack. God, I'm gonna have Don't to listen back to this back episode no closely more, no just so I can more. Google these things yeah. later. And then you'll need, to, and then you need to, to send God, these all to me while you're doing that it. That thing I'm thinking of is like so specific that it has to be real. The other thing, the Greg the Bunny thing, and it could have honestly just could have just Greg been an Bunny. episode of Greg the yeah, Bunny, honestly. But I feel like there's something else. There's a TV show called Freaky Links. Do you remember this? Okay, keep going. It had, um, I don't know, this fucking kid is in like a, he was in a bunch of stuff. I don't. I honestly don't know how to explain it. It was just like a group of kids that, it, and it wasn't a kids show per se, and they would investigate freaky stuff. Very like loose premise, yeah. but like a scary show. And it was on like when Family Guy came out originally. Like Freaky Links. Freaky Links. I'm pop another tab. One, one more tab before I go this week. <laughs> one more. Freaky Link. Look up that. Look up that Gene Shalit Bunny show while you're at it. No, because that's going to take too much. I know I can type in freaky links, and it will immediately show me. I don't remember this at all. See that kid? from? Isn't he from uh, Can't Hardly Wait? The main kid, right? Yeah, that is him. Yeah, so I don't God, know. Can't I don't hardly know. wait. We should watch that soon. We should. We just got it long. I have so much free time coming up. I'm going to watch everything we've just talked about right now. But the only other person I know who's ever even heard of this show is my sister because we watched it together. See, I don't, I don't even, I couldn't recall anything that happened on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It aired on Fox from October two thousand to June two thousand. Do I see full episode on YouTube there? Yeah. Okay, so it's an hour long show. I honestly don't remember anything about it. I remember as a kid, I really liked it, and I have to assume as an adult, it fucking blows. I'm throwing a quick YouTube search just so I can look it up later. Yeah, I'm going to guess it fucking sucks, to be completely honest Freaky. with you. It, yeah, only had 13 episodes. Freaky Links TV series. Oh, yeah, they run an underground website devoted to debunking paranormal mysteries and urban legends. Yeah, that sounds shitty. Yeah, I I can't imagine it. It went over well, but... So, yeah, there you go, Jill. There's a, a bunch of There's shit. There's a bunch we, of shit that we like. Now, how do you become your own grandfather I already? I fucking got it. All right. So, so stay with me here. My father marries my wife's daughter. Okay. My father is now my son-in-law. 
My stepdaughter is now my mother. My wife is now my mother's mother, which makes her my grandma too. If my wife is my grandma, then I am her grandchild. I am my own grandpa. Are you following me? No. <laughs> Do you need this chart? Yeah. So my father marries my, my stepdaughter. stepdaughter. And since me and my widow? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something changed in the chart. Does she have to die? Well, either way. And then I marry my stepdaughter? My. Because <laughs> that seems to be what's implied by the arrows. <laughs> it does seem to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heavily. Um, Hold on. There's some other charts. Maybe we got mixed up here. <laughs> That, still goes that one seems more complicated. Yeah, well, they put things in weird places. So, one, I marry my wife. Okay. Two, <laughs> my father marries you. my wife's daughter. My father is my son-in-law. My stepdaughter is now my mother. Three, my son is now my father's son-in-law. What the fuck happened? This one got more confusing. All right, let's go back. <laughs> Basically, whatever... Here, here's a different chart. Does this okay. help? Father bangs daughter, becomes widow, married. I don't know why the wife has to die. Yeah, why does someone <laughs> have to die for me to be my own grandpa? I don't remember that being part of it. And trust me, I I used to bring this up everywhere I went. I'll say it seems like every so, it seems like somebody has to get widowed for you to be your own grandpa, and I'm not about this life. Yeah, because I think this was I think this all came about around the time the the term as we use it dad was born yeah and someone was like what about grandpa that's like the super dad and we we're like get the fuck out of here i will stab you disgusting in the face through, through a, a pillow. pillow um and, and then someone yeah i specifically remember where i was standing where this when this was brought up someone was like you can be your own grandpa <laughs> and then we were all like what and then they told us this and then we googled it and we found a similar chart. I don't remember the wife having to die. Yeah, but I feel like chalk it up as part of the game. You know what I mean? I feel like there's some places in the world where this is actually a thing. Like maybe not on purpose, but because of like inbreeding and shit like that. There's some shit out here. Oh, that's like I'm this. sure. So ba yeah, basically, I just see because this doesn't even have. Or yeah, father, no stepdaughter. So, so who dies? My wife. But then I no. marry my stepdaughter. Oh, I don't like that. It people, seems people, like that society's going to judge you. Oh, not from the videos I've been watching. <laughs> society's got my fucking back, baby. Um, yeah, this chart is confusing. Their son. Oh, maybe I have to marry my stepdaughter and have a kid with her, and then I'm my own grandpa. Is that good enough for you? Are you fucking content? <laughs> have Never. I not explained this? No, I'm, I'm going to need you? three more hours of this. Mm. Well, let's go get a couple of beers and figure out how we can become our own. Do you grandpas? think we could become each other's grandpa easier? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. We just got to so bang each other's just... grandmas. I don't think banging. If we marry each other's grandmas, right. then that's that's it. We're each other's grandpas. So do we want to just cut corners and <coughs> marry each other's grandmas? I thought you were going to say marry each other and cut all the corners. And I was like, well, we won't be anyone's not. grandpa until we figure out how to get you pregnant <laughs> well we'll figure it out we'll get there i'm done a try a whole bunch but you know <laughs> we can I practice don't know. practice does make perfect practice prevent a perfectly placed punch prevents pregnancy <laughs> holy shit are you kidding me <laughs> no <laughs> did you just add that in your back pocket yeah for all these years and you never once have brought that i've up? brought it up i've never heard that I've i would said remember it. That. i've said that quietly maybe and that's something you say loudly <laughs> yeah we were standing right there at the, the music Pew guns out. yeah we were standing perfectly right at the Pew show. Place. perfectly placed punch prevents pregnancy let's Whoa. order pizza i was gonna say what am i trying to say now your thing threw me off completely <laughs> Practice prevents poor performance. Sure. I thought there was more P's in there. Pregnant punchers <laughs> signed. Pregnant punchers. There you go. Ah. Yeah, you said a bad. We both said bad, bad things. things on this one. Yeah. We scrapped this episode. Oh yeah, throw the whole thing out. Ugh. There's a lot to throw out. No, there's no way we can keep it. What about the Patreon over at www.patreon.com/slash/dapperdads? We got to keep that. Keep that, so then it's even more confusing. All right. All right, and then we become our own grandpas. And that's after. And that's when I know you're just like me because you're my grandpa. 
when do we kill our wives? Whenever we feel like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a perfectly placed <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Great for that audio platform to yeah. mimic a man who kills his wife. Man, he's just very tired and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> oh, that's it's, it? It's I thought he was finished. a little drunk. It's fi- <laughs> it's finished. It's been a day. Oh, this guy, yeah. I was going to say we should stretch it out, but I think we should cut it because you're getting violent against women. 